Hello students, till now we have discussed plastics, rubbers and polyamides. The next category of polymers is polyesters. Esters are formed by condensation reaction of a carboxylic acid R C O O H and an alcohol R dash O H with elimination of a water molecule in acidic medium it leads to formation of an ester this reaction is known as a sterification reaction it is a reversible reaction and this group COO basically this group is an ester group and this is the repeating unit in polyesters we have to cover three polyesters first is terylene also known as decron second is glyptal and third one is PHBV to study the monomeric and polymeric structures of terylene and glyptal we should be aware of uh, some compounds and their common names these compounds are thalic acid terthalic acid or terithalic acid and ethylene uh, glycol third is ethylene glycol so let's start with thalic acid thalic acid is a dicarboxylic acid it is basically benzene 1 to dicarboxylic acid having two carboxylic groups at ortho position and benzene ring. this is thalic acid first terthalic acid or terithalic acid is a para dicarboxylic acid that is para benzene dicarboxylic acid or benzene 1 4 dicarboxylic acid and ethylene glycol is third sector this is a vicinal diol having hydroxyl group at two adjacent carbon this is ethylene glycol or ethane 1 2 diol so this is benzene 1 2 di carboxylic acid the IUPAC name this is benzene 1 4 di carboxylic acid and this is ethane 1 2 diol so the first polyester is terylene also known as Macron and the two monomeric units are terithalic acid that is benzene 1 4 dicarboxylic acid and ethylene glycol that is benzene uh, ethane 1 2 diol with the removal of water molecule from these two monomeric units uh, you have to keep in mind that hydrogen has to be removed from alcoholic part and OH from the acidic part. So hydrogen from the alcoholic part and OH from the acidic part. It leads to formation of the polymer that is terylene. So this is your first polyester. And the second polyester is glyptal. The two more units are thalic acid, which is similar to terithalic acid, except for this is benzene 1 4 dicarboxylic acid and this is benzene 1 2 dicarboxylic acid. And the second monomer is ethylene glycol 
the same monomer and the same process you have to remove hydrogen from alcoholic and OH from the acidic part and repeat it over here also so it leads to formation of this polyester this is glycerol you can see in both the structures the common repeating unit is coo a steric part having carbon chains on both the sides the ester part having carbon chain on both the sides the ester part having carbon chain on both the sides the next polyester is phbv that is poly beta hydroxy butyrate co beta hydroxy valerate and the two monomers are beta hydroxy butyric acid not the eight eight is a suffix used for uh, an ester when a carboxylic acid gets converted into an ester the suffix eight is used and the second one is beta hydroxy valeric acid again beta hydroxy valeric acid so let's uh, start with beta hydroxy butyric acid but indicates four carbons 1 2 3 and 4 the first one is cooh carboxylic acid this is functional group carbon carbon directly attached to the functional group as alpha carbon so this is the alpha carbon and the carbon next to the alpha carbon is beta carbon so this beta carbon is having an hydroxy group which is oh this is beta hydroxy butyric acid or we can write 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and let's just fulfill the valencies this is CH3 this is CH and this is CH2 the next molecule is beta hydroxy valeric acid valer indicates 5 carbons 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 the first one, this is COOH carboxylic acid again. This is functional group carbon, this is alpha carbon, and this is beta carbon. And beta carbon is again a hydroxy group that is OH. Fulfill the valencies, this is CH3, CH2, CH, CH2. The IUPAC name of this molecule is 3 hydroxy. Pentamic acid. These are the two monomeric units of PHBV. Now, while writing the polymeric structure, we have to rearrange these structures. Let's start with this molecule, 3 hydroxy pentamic acid. What we will do? We'll move this OH here and CH3 downwards. Let's move this OH towards the light. This uh, towards left and CH3 downwards, and we'll do the similar with this molecule. Let's write this whole part as C2H5, CH3, CH2 as C2H5. So move this OH towards left, and this C2H5 part downwards. Now, this is the monomeric structure for 3 hydroxy pentamic acid, and this is for 3 hydroxy pentamic acid. Now, repeat the same procedure H from the alcoholic part and OH from the carboxylic part. So, OH from the carboxylic part and H from the alcoholic part. It leads to formation of this. Polymer which is PHBV with removal of these two water molecules 
n times and this is a biodegradable polymer. 